Hey, buddy! My name is Andri, and I'm here to prove to you that Brazil is more than samba, football, and carnival. Today, let's gonna talk about the Brazilian gods. You never heard it before. Me neither. I needed to study a little bit about this subject, and let's gonna talk about them. The Brazilian gods is not even common for us Brazilians because here, during you know when we are studying at schools and our um, adult life. It's not common to see about the indigenous culture here inside of our country. And many habits that we have here in Brazil came from indigenous people. So um, we actually not asked ourselves like where they came from. Before the arrival of Portuguese people here in 1500, we have a lot of settlers here in Brazil, of course, but we already had people living here in indigenous groups and they had that beliefs, myths and gods. And I know that you probably heard it before about the Nordic or Greek, even Egypt gods, but we have our Brazilian gods. Like then, the indigenous groups here believed in several gods, and these gods were represented by the nature forces or natural phenomena. So I'm going to introduce you nine gods from our mythology, and you will see that we have some similarities with other um, gods from other regions. So let's go. Tupan comes from the culture of Tupi Guarani people and he's considered the god of thunder. He is also the creator of land, sea and animal life, so that's why inside of the indigenous culture Tupan is considered the supreme god. Tupan is largely responsible to bring knowledge to the human beings, teaching them uh, how to cultivate land, hunt, um, doing handcrafts and the use of medical plants. What a buddy. Also from the culture of Tupi Guarani people, we have Guaraci, the sun god and son of Tupan. He helped his father to create the human beings and the animal life. And during the day, Guaraci is the protector of us. If you need protection during the day, you need protection during the night. So that's why we have Jaci, which is the Guaraci wife and daughter of Tupan as well. She is considered the moon goddess and we have our protection at night and we have Guaraci during the day. So they are the perfect couple. It's for Jaci that the indigenous woman asks for protection to their family and husbands to um, return their homes safe. We have Hudai to Tupi Guarani mythology, which is the god of love. He is responsible for softening the human hearts, uniting them with love and passion. Uda was largely responsible for the marriage of Jaci and Guaraci. And if an indigenous woman um, are searching for a husband, she can sing some songs to Huda and he will do his job. Ayangua is the god of the underworld, so he's like a Brazilian Hades. And um, he's capable to transform into any animal or creature from the jungle. Ayangua is enemy of Tupan, of course. And his seen is a sign of bad luck and disgrace. Chisi, Ayangua wife, um, she's a powerful sorceress and the queen of the underworld. With Ayangua, Chisi ruled the dead world and she's also considered the goddess of envy and evil because she can control the feelings of the humans. Akwanduba is a deity from the culture of Arara Indians and he represents the harmony of the people. Aquan Dubai is responsible for the, the maintenance of the balance and the order of the world through the plane of his flute. Important to say, Aquan Dubai can keep the order if he wants, so please don't make him angry. A tiny pause here. Did you subscribe? Comment below, put your thumbs up. I'm here to help you with great content about Brazil in English, so it was necessary to learn the language to show you the things related to my country so please do that um, it's like I, I love to do this kind of job and I need to, to see if you enjoy it if you like it um, if you have any comment or criticism to well send to me and well I'm here getting in touch that's gonna grow up this Brazilian culture inside of the YouTube so yeah let's go to the other god Yeba Beló, known as the woman who appeared out of nowhere, comes from the Desana people. She is the goddess responsible for the creation of humanity and the entire universe. The legend says that Yeba Beló created humans 
from coca leaves that she chewed. Kiano Makamanã, it was necessary to take three times to record this name. Kiano Makamanã, she is the warrior goddess from the Chakriaba people. Also known as the Jaguar goddess, she represents the free spirit and the freedom. I love her. Being a warrior and carrying the strength of Jaguars, she blesses the warriors from indigenous people. So, buddies, that was the nine Brazilian gods for today. Of course, we have a lot of them. Um, we have hundreds of indigenous groups here inside of Brazil and in the South America. So you can imagine how many gods we already lost and we have and we never talked before. So if you like this kind of subject, please comment below, subscribe, thumbs up, share with your friends if you're going to Brazil. At least you know a little bit about our Brazilian gods and mythology. Um, thank you so much. Muito obrigado. And I see you on the next episode. Tchau!